Hi friends, welcome to today's class. So today's question is, a batsman in his 17th innings makes a score of 85 and thereby increases his average by 3. What is his average after 17 innings? So what is the given question? A batsman in his 17th innings, he is making a score of 85 and thereby he is increasing his average by 3. So suppose we are telling so after 16 innings, let his average be given by x. So after 16 innings, his average is equal to x. Then after 17 innings, what is his average? Average will be equal to x plus 3. And what is the runs taken in 17th innings? 17th innings, he is taking a score of 85. He is making a score of 85 in 17th innings. You have to find out what is x plus 3. What is his average after 17 innings or what is x plus 3? So how to do this? So if after 16 innings average is equal to x, what is average? Average will be always equal to total divided by number of observations. So in this case the average will be equal to what is average here? Average will be given by total runs divided by total number of innings. So after 16 innings what is his total runs? After 16 innings his total runs will be equal to 16 into x. So average is equal to x and total innings is equal to 16. That is already given. 16 innings average is equal to x. So his total number of innings is equal to 16 and his average is equal to x. Therefore total runs will be equal to 16 into x. Now how you can form the formula? This 16x and he is making a score of 85 in his 17th inning. So his total runs will be equal to 16x plus 85. So after 17 innings his total score will be equal to 16x plus 85. 16x was the total number of runs after 16 innings. It is already given average is equal to x and total innings is equal to 16. So his total after 16 innings will be equal to 16x. In his 17th innings, he is making a score of 85. So his total runs will be becoming 16x plus 85. So that divided by 17 will be giving you the new average which is equal to x plus 3. So 16x plus 85 divided by 17 is equal to x plus 3. So what you will be getting? 16x plus 85 is equal to 17x plus 17 into 3. So you will be 17x minus 16x. So x is equal to 85 is actually 17 into 5. So 17 into 5 minus 17 into 3 which will be giving you 17 into 2. So 17 into 2 will be equal to 34. So x is equal to 34 or his average after 16 innings will be equal to 34. His 16 innings average is equal to 34. The question is to find out the average after 17 innings. So his 17 innings average is equal to x plus 3. So what is our answer? Our answer will be his 17 innings average is equal to 34 plus 3 which gives you 37. So 37 is our answer. Second question. A cricketer has completed 10 innings and his average is 21.5 runs. How many runs must he make in, the, in his next innings so as to raise his average to 24? So what is the given question? A cricketer, he has completed his 10 innings and from his 10 innings his average is equal to 21.5 runs. And he is going to play his 11th inning. So how many runs he has to take in his next game so that his new average becomes 24. So he wants to make his 11 innings average as 24. So how many runs should be taken? In the 11th match how many runs he should take so as to raise his average from 21.5 runs to 24. So what is average? Average is equal to total divided by number. Every time, all the time average will be equal to total sum divided by total number of observations. So here the average will be given as the total number of runs divided by total number of innings will be giving you the average. So here 
it is given the 10 innings average is equal to 21.5 runs so what will be his total number of runs after 10th inning or total number of runs in this 10 innings what it will be it will be equal to average into innings number average into innings number so it will be equal to 21.5 into 10 it is already given 10 innings average is equal to 21.5 so his total runs after 10 matches will be equal to 21.5 into 10 which gives you 215 now we know his new average new average should be equal to 24 and the total number of matches now becomes equal to 11 so let his runs taken in the 11th match be equal to x so what will be the formula 215 plus x will be his total number of runs after 11 innings after 10 innings his total number of runs is equal to 215 and he is go, uh, taking x run x runs in his 11th inning so 215 plus x divided by 11 will be equal to 24 so what you will be getting 215 plus x is equal to 24 into 11 which is equal to 264 so that means x is equal to 264 minus 215 which gives you 49 so he should take 49 runs in his 11th innings so as to raise his average to 24 question number 3 a cricketer whose bowling average is 24.85 runs per wicket takes 5 wickets for 52 runs and thereby decreases his average by 0.85 find the number of wickets taken by him till the last match so again a cricket related question so here the batting average is not given the bowling average is given so what is the bowling average what do you mean by bowling average the number of runs per wicket that is the meaning batting average means total number of runs divided by total number of innings will be giving you the batting average or runs runs will be given running runs average will be given by total number of runs divided by total number of innings but here the bowling average is given what it is 24.85 runs per wicket so his bowling average was 24.85 runs how many runs per wicket that is the meaning of bowling average and in his next match what is done 5 wickets are taken for 52 runs so 52 runs and 5 wickets and his average is now decreasing by 0.85 so now first case let his average be equal to x x is the bowling average in the first case and so the second case his bowling average is reduced by 0.85 so x minus 0.85 will be his new bowling average so you have to find out how many wickets was taken by him till the last match so last match it is given 5 wickets was taken by him so before that how many wickets were taken by him so how many wickets were taken by him before his last match so what is the number of wickets here that is what you have to find out so let's write the formula the bowling average in the first case is given 24.85 so what is actually 24.85 24.85 will be equal to total runs taken till then divided by total wickets so let the total wickets is equal to x so x will be the total number of wickets the bowling average is given bowling average is equal to 24.85 runs per wicket that is total number of runs divided by total number of wickets will be giving you 24.85 so if the total number of wickets is equal to x you can say total runs divided by x will be giving you 24.85 which gives you total runs taken till then is equal to 24.85 x so 24.85 x is the total runs taken till the last match so now let's form the formula so 24.85 x plus how many runs he is taking in the last match it is 52 so 24.85 x plus 52 will give you the total runs and what is his total wickets total wickets will be equal to x plus 5 x was the total number of wickets till the last match and in his last match he is taking 5 wickets so now the total number of wickets will be equal to x plus y x plus 5 so 24.85 x is the total number of runs till the last match and he is taking 52 runs in his last match so it will be equal to 24.85 x plus 52 similarly his total number of wickets till last match was x 
and he is taking 5 wickets in his last match. So, we can write it as x plus 5. And what is his new bowling average? It is equal to x minus, sorry, his bowling average is 24.85. It is already given his bowling average is 24.85. So, 24.85 minus 0.85. So, that will be his new bowling average. So, by writing the formula, you will be getting 24.85x plus 52 is equal to 24.85 minus 0.85, you will be getting here 24. So, it will be equal to 24x plus 24 into 5, which gives you 120. So, 24x plus 120. So, finally, you will be getting 0.85x is equal to 120 minus 52 which is equal to 68. So, x is equal to 68 divided by 0.85 which gives you 80. So, 80 was the total number of wickets taken by him till the last match. Okay. So, once more I will explain this question. His bowling average is equal to total number of runs taken divided by total number of wickets taken. How many runs per wicket? That is the meaning of bowling average. Batting average means total number of runs divided by total number of innings. How many runs per inning? That is the meaning of batting average. So, here it is already given bowling average is equal to 24.85. So, his total number of runs divided by total number of wickets taken will be equal to 24.85. So, we are assuming number of wickets is equal to x. So, 24.85 x will be the total number of runs taken till the last match. And in his last match, it is already given how many runs he has taken and how many wickets he has taken. So, his total number of runs will be equal to 24.85x plus 52 since he is taking 52 runs and he is taking 5 wickets. So, his total number of wickets will be equal to x plus 5. So, 24.85x plus 52 divided by x plus 5 will be giving you the new bowling average which is 24.85 minus 0.85. His bowling average is reduced by 0.85. So, 24.85 minus 0.85. And from that you can write the equation and solve for x and find out the total number of wickets taken by him till the last match. Thank you for watching.